Hello everybody, Pen Productions here and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to use the new Twitch mobile broadcasting from within the app. So let's get started with this. I am on Android for this, my OnePlus 3T. So let's go to Pulse where you'll see your post and update and then you see a little camera here. If you don't get the little camera, what you need to do is sign out and sign back into the app and then it should work. That's what I had to do anyway. I had to sign out of the app because before, when I first updated it, I didn't get that. I just had the emoticon uh, over here. And then when I did sign out and then sign back in, I did get the camera there. So let's tap on the camera now. And then you want to enable camera, allow, and enable microphone. And so if you just go through, I'm just going to press got it. And then you title your stream, so I'm going to put test, okay. And then can you change the game? You can change the game, so you can do IRL, creative, music, social eating, or talk show. I don't know why you do social eating, but there you go. And then you can press start stream. Uh, three, two, one. 30 minutes of streaming will use about 250 megs of data. And so now you can see that I am live streaming. And you do get the chat room at the side, so I wonder, can I chat? Welcome to the chat room. Now I just get chat. You can mute microphone, you can lock screen. I'll just cut in some of the live stream into this video. A couple of things I forgot to mention in that, the camera icon, you can switch between the front camera and you can switch between the back camera. So you can switch between the two cameras. I think it works really well. I haven't seen any like quality settings or anything, so that might be quite good for people on low quality Wi-Fi and things like that. You can lower the quality setting, that would be quite good. So you can lower the bitrate, lower the output video quality that would be quite good to see and also the stream did crash while I was recording so maybe screen recording and streaming at the same time it doesn't let you do that oh application error uh, maybe that's because I'm screen recording I have no idea maybe it doesn't let you live stream and screen record at the same time anyway I hope this tutorial has been useful for you so you can see how to actually start streaming on the new app. It's a good app. I, well, I quite like it anyway. I like this new night mode. Uh, I know a lot of people have complained. So thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and I will see you next time. Bye.